Charlemagne Thugod, a popular radio host, is known for always speaking his mind and telling it like it is. He's never been one to shy away from criticizing Diddy, so you can bet he's ready to call him out once and for all. Now, it was this documentary that claimed, which we know wasn't true. Yeah, yeah, check this out. We don't, we don't talk about things that are nonsense, so we're not even going to even go there with all due respect, but I appreciate you as a journalist asking. Thank you. Did you hire somebody to kill Pac? But no, you do it like a journalist. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, we wouldn't even get into nonsense like that. You know what I'm saying? Some, like DJ Academics, believed Charlemagne would stay silent about Diddy, but they were mistaken. So, probably not a great husband, but right yeah, now dude. everything's <laughs> going on. Nobody wants to talk about him. I don't want to be. Why the does nobody want to talk about it? I don't know. Are people afraid of Diddy's influence? Is that what this is? Duh, I think I'm watching. I'm watching, bro. It is. I'm like Charlemagne. Tell the truth, bro. Go ahead. Oh hell nah. Like I'm on my own. You think Charlemagne won't talk about Diddy? Nobody will talk about it. Listen, I called Joe. Joe said, "Act, you ain't on with this one, man. I'll catch you on the next scandal." I'm like, really? what? what the fuck? He's really? Yeah. So, so, and explain the influence of Diddy because I'm seeing people I don't dropping know. him That's, left and right. Play this. I don't like. I don't know what they might Did be. Did Diddy f Aaliyah? <laughs> why are you putting Leo? On? Why is why is she involved? I thought she. It was like a faulty plane, but you never know. He blew up a car. You never know. Might have. I don't know. Mm. But why Aaliyah? You tell me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> During a talk with Piers Morgan, Charlemagne said that it's time for Diddy to answer for his crimes and face the consequences after years of avoiding accountability. When uh, Charlemagne, it's a couple of totally different stories. Um, one is what's happening with P. Diddy. Uh, his former security guy, Roger Bonds, came on my show last week, said he'd seen Diddy violent with multiple women. Um, a lot more allegations coming out all the time about it. What do you make of what is happening with Diddy? The same thing I make of, you know, what's happening with anybody. You know, if you, you know, you got to deal with the consequences of your actions, period. You can't run from yourself. I tell people that all the time, man. Like, you know, I'm a big proponent of mental health. And the reason I'm a big proponent of mental health and, and you know, people doing the work on themselves is because a lot of people are dealing with a lot of unhealed trauma. They're dealing with a lot of pain and a lot of hurt. And they end up projecting that pain and that hurt onto other people. And, um, you know, that's, that's what I think has been happening with him over the years i don't i don't know him personally i know him from interviewing him you know of course i've had conversations with him but i've never hung out with him <laughs> I, i've never been to a diddy charlemagne is also one of the few people bold enough to speak openly about diddy's sexuality and how he allegedly had wendy williams blacklisted from the industry because of it catching up with him i mean you can't even hide like you you just the same way you know trump was trying to hide things it, P. Diddy was trying to hide things too by, by, with, with, by, by you know, suppressing that tape. Mm. So, I mean, you know, you can't run from yourself, Piz. You got to deal with the consequences of your actions. So, you know, whatever happens to him, as far as, you know, legal, legal ramifications are concerned, or, you know, jail time, he has to deal with that. But what I would tell people is don't forget what the issue is. Because a lot of times we do that here in America. We get so caught up in the celebrity that we forget what the actual issue is. And the issue in this situation is domestic violence. The issue in this situation is the patriarchy. Because as long as you have, you know, men, especially powerful men, you know, thinking that women are their property, you know, and they can do whatever to them, you're going to see situations like, you know, the Diddy Cassie take, and um, like I said, you know, men not dealing with their with their, with their with their unhealed trauma, you know, men not dealing with their pain, men not dealing with their hurt and projecting it onto, you know, people around them. Those are the three issues that I think we really should be focused on, because long after we, we're not talking about this P. Diddy and Cassie situation anymore, there's still going to be women all around the world, you know, dealing with 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 men like that. Mm -hmm. So how do we get to the root of the issue? I think we only get to the root of the issue by talking about the actual issue and not the individual. Charlemagne has also called Diddy a huge liar, highlighting how insincere Diddy's apology seemed after surveillance footage surfaced showing him abusing Cassie, backing up the claims in her lawsuit. You think I, I would ever see a video like this? No, I heard abuse whispers. So really? I was thinking, yeah. Well, I, I, I heard yeah. gay. I yeah. never heard I always, heard, I always heard gay. <laughs> gay nonstop. And that was enough. People were like, that's because of Wendy yeah. Williams. What'd you say? Oh, that man. was Wendy. Wendy's whole thing was Diddy was gay since the 90s. She knew, dog. No, Wendy was we throwing that out there. Apology. That's why Wendy got fired from Hot 97. Wendy got fired from Hot 97 by Diddy because that's when Bad Boy was smoking hot. Wow. And um, yeah, she got fired for putting that out there. Like, Do you think that Diddy held on to the gay? rumors so that people didn't know what he really was yeah 
Ooh. Because that's the perfect smokescreen. That wasn't the only time Charlemagne spoke out about the domestic violence allegations against Diddy, but some people feel like he was also somewhat defending Diddy throughout the situation. Um, I'm not sure if, if you want to answer this, but what are your thoughts on everything going on with, with Diddy right now? I think, I think when it comes to that situation, man, I think we shouldn't focus on the individual. We should focus on the issue. Because I think what happens a lot of times is, you know, because of the celebrity, we get lost talking. We get lost in talking about the celebrity and not talking about the actual issue. The issue is domestic violence. Yep, right. The issue is exactly what I just said about, you know, men not going to do the proper work on themselves. And they're dealing with a lot of pain and a lot of hurt and unhealed trauma. And they're projecting that pain and that, that hurt on the other people. The issue is patriarchy, right? Because as long as you have a system where men feel superior to women and they're dealing with that pain and they're dealing with that hurt, mm -hmm. they're going to project that, you know, we're going to continue to project that onto our women. So I think those are the issues that we should be discussing as opposed to talking about the individual. And we tend to do that a lot as a society. Yeah. We get lost in the celebrity of things as opposed to, okay, what are we here for? Because it's clickbait. Yeah. 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 It's clickbait. Like, yeah. Diddy, yeah. Diddy brings the engagement, but right now as I'm talking, there's a woman out there getting beat up yeah. by yeah. a man, yeah. right? And she's not going to get no news coverage. Nobody's yeah. going to talk about we her. Should, we should say the name of Cassie, the survivor of the domestic yeah. violence. Yes. Talk more about her. Absolutely. Well. Just talk about the issue, Pierre. Let's talk about the yeah. actual yeah. issue and yeah. not the individual. When yeah. it comes to us, it's, it doesn't seem to be the yeah, thing we like think, it. yeah, amplified yeah. it. Charlemagne didn't hesitate to criticize Diddy's son, saying he should quit making music and called him out for defending his father. While I don't always agree with Charlemagne, I'm with him on this one. King Combs Diddy's son released a new record. It's called Pick a Side and it has people talking. Can we play a clip of it? Police raid the crib like they think we selling crack. We but we that. out here selling tracks. Multi-million dollar plaques. Rather put this Man, the worst advice uh, Diddy ever gave King Combs was can't stop, won't stop, because he needs to stop. What you mean? He needs to stop. Like, like I, first of all, I don't believe anything King Combs says on that record. Like, I dare you to say no, Diddy. That's all you're gonna hear when you out and about, sir. People mm -hmm. are gonna try you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're gonna try you because they know you're not built like that. So they're gonna be saying that just to antagonize you. Yeah, well, people uh, put the record out as a diss record. It said he was dissing 50 Cent. He mentions 50 Cent in the record. I didn't hear the 50 Cent diss. He says many men hated on me. Do we have that part? I didn't hear him dissing uh, 50 Cent, but what I did hear him, uh, I heard him taunting the FBI. Right. Do we have that part? Well, before you do that, uh, let, me, let me get to that. Well, mm -hmm. he, he did mention 50's name and said many men hated on him. And he said, uh, well, 50 Cent said, I feel so threatened by the things Christian is saying on this record. I'm afraid for my life. Please don't hurt me, guys. I never <laughs> mentioned or posted anything about Puffy Kids because Keefy D said he killed Tupac. Jesus Christ. Out loud. So that was 50 Cent's response. And see, that's the other thing, right? It's been really quiet about the Diddy situation, right? Like, well, like he, the Drake and the Kendrick and all that. And That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He took, uh, like, so, so why stir all of this back up by putting out a record that none of us needed? <laughs> well, <laughs> nobody needed this. Well, he also talks about the feds. In this. Knock them walls down like when them Fetty boys ran them both for our cribs. Too bad they ain't know we bought the one next door cause that's the one they missed. All right, get a warrant for that one too now. I'm gonna go get. I now since since King Combs wants to tell us that's the house that we missed, we need to get a go get a warrant for that one as well. It's like, come on, man. You talking like y'all know y'all in the clear? Leave the feds the hell alone, man. Well, Fifty Cent responded that to that too. He says, now why would you say some ish like this when you know the feds are investigating? Is you stupid exactly. or is you dumb? Laugh out loud. And he's right. Once again, the worst advice Diddy probably ever gave his son was can't stop, won't stop. Because sometimes it's okay to stop. You need to stop right now. He also recently mentioned that Diddy seems to have a vendetta against Drake and has been actively hoping for his downfall, which raises a lot of questions. With the melodies, I don't like Drake when he act tough. I've been saying for years, I don't like, I, I, I say I don't like when Drake sings. I like when he raps. I've been saying, when Drake did that video back in the day, I don't even remember Chai what video Chai. it was. It was when he had the hoodie on and the headlines and it looked like they was all like a flash mob that was going to run up in a store and yeah. steal every goddamn thing. Headline. Like they just couldn't wait to run up in H&M or something and just take everything Not off the Like that's what, that, that, I didn't like that either. You're going to make a back puff. Let me see if Chubbs really crashed something. That's a reference to when, uh, I don't, yeah, I didn't get it. They said slap. slapped him, right? Well, Puff allegedly slapped oh, okay. Drake. Um, I'll never forget that night either. You were there? No, I oh. woke up and my phone was ringing. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm, I can say this without a shadow of a doubt, and this is true. The, the industry is behind the scenes, they've always been against Drake. 
Like they've always actively rooted against Drake. Why? I do not know. Probably just because he's from Canada and he's winning. Probably because he's from Canada and you know he's not. I, he's probably because he's not American. I don't know. Like I don't think that's it. Yo, Drake used to say this in his raps and he used to talk about the industry plotting him against him. He was not lying. I'm not even going to sit there and tell you no lie. Because whenever stuff like this used to happen to him, my phone would go crazy. Well, who the and, industry? and it wouldn't be like regular people. It'd be like execs and like managers. And like that, like yo, yo, you would yo, yo, dub, yo, Diddy just slap Drake. I'm like, really? And I'll never forget that night. So he's not, he's not, he's not. D D Drake's not paranoid when he says these things. I just feel like why and who would be behind it if the industry is benefiting off of him? All right, listen. I, yeah. Hate is hate. Hey, hate, hate is hate, jealousy bro. and envy is. Charlemagne continues to challenge his guests on the show pressing them to express their views on Diddy and the ongoing developments. Walking in that door, he could bring anything in that door. Yeah, but I mean, what, what the f is this? That's what I'm talking about. They they back him out. This is the raid? This is Diddy yes, raid? Yes, bro, they arresting whites. They was arresting whites. This is too much. This is, it is too much. Like, unless they know something that we don't f Thank you. But then I also, too, I wonder how much the internet plays into this type of shit. I wonder if... You know, these people are online and watching these YouTube videos and buying into these conspiracy theories mm. and they're getting phone calls and anonymous tips and probably a bunch of anonymous tips because of what the internet is fueling. I wonder if that's causing people to, you know, to react like this. Because this is crazy, bro. It's crazy. This I just don't like it. I, mean, I, don't, I don't like it just because it's sad. Like, you know, how many, how many people's legacies have we watched burn to the ground? You know, from the Russell Simmons, from, you know, But it's Diddy. good that they burned to the ground if they did fuck shit. Sure, but it's... You, 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 you so, still sad so that it's just they one emotion? Like, y'all all lying to yourself if y'all say, yeah, good for them. Provided the soundtrack to our lives. They contributed to culture in real ways. Before we knew any of this shit, from the Harvey Weinsteins to whoever, we all were inspired by them if you were in entertainment because you wanted to build what they built. Of Who do you love, Taylor? With who do you like? Who inspires you? Megan Issa the Stallion. Ray. Who? Issa Rae. So if, 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 God, if God forbid some bullshit like this, you found out Issa Rae was in the shit like this, I'll that wouldn't hurt your feelings? I'm not saying it wouldn't hurt your okay feelings. Okay then, so I don't know why. I'm, so that's why I don't understand when people are so quick to be like, no, fuck that, you, yeah, no, yeah, you have yeah. feelings, you have mixed after emotions. That, I'm taking the victims into consideration. I'm taking what's going on with them in the, uh, the, the, the just Diddy and all them. About the whole it's situation. mixed emotions. Yeah, it's like OJ. Yeah. No, I never felt like that about OJ. Wait, what? I mean, I didn't grow up on OJ, though, so I mean, I didn't feel like that. Oh, yeah, me neither. Yeah, I didn't grow up, so I didn't feel like that. It's not OJ. It's like Harvey Weinstein. Like, you saw Shakespeare in Love, and you're like, this guy, wow, he made this movie. To me, it's like Bill Cosby. That's another uh, one. That's another one. Bill Cosby. Yes. Bill Cosby hurt my feelings a lot. That's a, that's, but that's what I'm saying. You're not going to sit here and tell me that you look at the Russell Simmons. And by the way, I'm not even going to put Harvey Weinstein in there, because I didn't feel like that about Harvey Weinstein. I'm lying. But the Russell Simmons, the Bill Maybe. Cosbys, the Diddies. You're lying if you don't. It's the same thing when I see Kanye, even though Kanye's situation doesn't, doesn't have anything to do with, you know. Overall, Charlemagne appears to believe that Diddy's reign as the king of hip hop is coming to an end. He later clarified his comments, acknowledging that even he can misspeak sometimes. The Breakfast Club host expressed disappointment in Diddy's choices and urged people to look at the bigger picture to understand why all of this is happening. Dude, I want to do whatever you want to do. That's what you said to Puff? And he just oh said my that. God! Ray, 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 how that? Ray, Ray, you can get the cameras going right now. And wrestle Charlamagne. That'd be a good one. Ray, I'm just asking. Has those that words ever been? Don't let him play with you, Ray. That's the second oh time we try to play with you, Ray. Oh my God! <laughs> That's the second time, Ray. Cause you got, you got the goons. You, you know, you got those goons. <laughs> You got a booty goon show? No, Angela Yee made up booty goons. I, I said it more uncut, but I do got the gagency now. Let's be honest. Charlemagne has never hesitated to confront Diddy, asking him tough questions whenever he appears on the show. He even addressed the allegations from 50 Cent, suggesting that Diddy is gay. In your, uh, in your book, uh, Get Honest or Die Lying, you talk about the influence of hip hop. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, when it comes to hip hop, of course, many people think of Diddy as uh, one of the, uh, the pioneers. Um, and, and at one point, you were not happy that his legacy was being destroyed. Let me play this piece of sound. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I just don't like it. I mean, I don't, I don't like it just because it's sad. Like, you know, how many, how many people's legacies have we watched burn to the ground? You know, from the Russell Simmons, from... 
And let's just say that Charlemagne isn't convinced by anything Diddy says, especially with how nervous Diddy looks while he's rambling. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that? Of course, nah. I didn't see that. No, nah, I didn't see it. You didn't see it. I swear to God. Oh, Come yeah. on, man. You saw that on world dog. Check check, check check this out. When they started playing the game, the pause game, I would definitely that came from Harlem too. By yeah, the way. came from Harlem. I definitely would say some. Oh my! Whoa! The crowd would be like, "What? Did he just say that?" <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't play games. Y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man. I don't play games. But um. Yeah. Did you the compilation? Go? Nah, I was I was coming off of being in Miami at night of party and I don't really remember what I was saying. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Would you like a reminder? Yeah, sure. Play some. Play. Play. Hey, yo, play. listen, yo, I, I love it all. I love it all, man. I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, when you put my bed Daddy, yeah. I like when you oh, when you right scrambling here. and scraping for no, 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 no. shit. That was you scrambling. <laughs> <laughs> What? You said I like when you do it like that, Daddy. <laughs> when you scrambling and scraping for shit. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> like, I don't know what I was talking about. Hey. Nah, nah. I mean, I was you don't caught, go back no, and no, look no. at that stuff and laugh. I mean, it's, I mean, it, it could be funny. I don't really be on it like that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like. <laughs> I'm you sure know, we can put Charlemagne's compilation against Diddy's compilation. Oh, we have a bunch. We put yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I also, I also don't do it because I know I'm, I know I'm bad at the game. Like, <laughs> 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 I know I say like reckless stuff out my mouth that's just not maybe you know adding up to with somebody who maybe somebody who's homophobic, but I'm not homophobic and I really don't you know. After the surveillance video of Cassie and Diddy was leaked, Charlemagne didn't hold back in sharing his opinion. It's clear that he's firmly on Cassie's side. 50, yeah. 50 came up here and he was giving you flack for the asking Fab the party. So you, he'll ask you, oh, he'll ask you to play it, play it, play the clip, man. Yeah, play the clip. Go ahead. Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we, we partied for my birthday before. You came to my party. You no, know? but me and you ain't never really party, you know what I'm saying? I asked 50 about that. And he said you did the same thing to him. You asked him to take him shopping. Yeah. I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm a nice guy. What the fuck? Yo, why, I mean, why are you with Fifth? Hey, yo. Y'all can't, can't see that he loves me. But see, you really, hold on, you really think that's hate? You really, when you really break it down, you've been out here a long time. You know he loves me. I don't think he like it. You know he loves me. I don't think he like Okay. It. But why? But why not? Y'all just y'all both passionate. Y'all both. I don't know. I, I, yo, check this out. I don't. I don't know. Like I don't. Both the same. No, we are not. Okay. We, we are not, not the same. <laughs> I'm not thinking about all that. All them gnats. You know they they can't really touch me. Y'all. At the end of the day, y'all see and y'all know what it is. Mm -hmm. You know that the track record. Y'all y'all know the business acumen. Y'all know the community service. Y'all know what I'm about. You know and um. When he does that, it's, it's 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 like funny to me. I don't really take it personal. I know he has a different sense of humor, and he's just not in my life. We don't have to never cross paths, and um, I will never say nothing negative about him, you know, because that's just not me. It feels like something must have happened, though, like that we just don't know about behind the scenes. He loves me. In fact, The Breakfast Club host has stated that Diddy isn't genuinely sorry. He's just sorry because he got caught. Charla Mang described Diddy's apology as one of the weakest he's ever seen. You think so? I Absolutely. think, I think honestly, the video is light compared to what she probably, well, what she went through in the room. Because mm. like, her just trying to get away and her laying there like almost freaking lifeless. You know what I mean? Like imagine what happened in the room and how somebody can be so functional like that, extremely drunk. He managed to not let that towel slip. He mm -hmm. managed to yeah. do all of that with one hand. Yeah, and the fact and that he didn't running. care about any of that. Didn't insane. care. You running around in a hotel mm -hmm. with a towel wrapped around you. And you know and assaulting a person it's at cameras. an elevator. That's, yeah, that's, that's a different level of insanity. It's yeah. disgusting. It's, it's definitely disgusting. disgusting. She didn't try to defend herself and probably couldn't because of what happened in the room. But not only that, that, that was his, his girl, right? That yep. was the person yep. that he said he loved and mm -hmm. she's laying on the floor lifeless. She mm -hmm. wasn't moving. He also pointed out that the old hotel does... He also noted that the old hotel doesn't even exist anymore, suggesting that someone deliberately kept that video to expose Diddy. Charlemagne hinted that Diddy might have paid the hotel to keep the video under wraps until now. Yep. And I'm sorry that the video leaked. Absolutely. Okay. That's what Cassie legal team said. If that video hadn't come out, he'd still be lying right now. Yeah, yeah. Cause um he he said that it was like for a play, like like 
early on he was saying Cassie and and the most, the other women that came forward with these claims he denied everything and mm-hmm. he suggested that his victims were looking for a payday and um but Cassie's lawyer said he only felt the re- he only felt like he was compelled to apologize once his repeated denials were proven false um and that just shows that he's pathetic and um no one will be swayed by his disingenuous word why would you still tape. be holding on to the video like you think you can in minutes of society like what the hell is you oh, i don't i don't think that came from him i think that whoever probably sold him that video probably had another copy following rolling stone's latest investigative article on diddy's violent history charlemagne stated that diddy's public image is completely shattered with new evidence surfacing every day it appears that diddy's downfall is now inevitable are you sure Positive. That was kind of up. I thought they said they had new representation. That's new people at yeah. That but even if they that. even if they have new representation, they don't have a uh, old footage from the hotel. Like that. Like I, that, that gets that's gone. Somebody got that footage from somebody. somebody and that's eight years old it. footage. Nine years old footage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So yep, that is just the mess with that. I, I just, the whole situation is is just really really crazy. Cause do y'all know how many videos about to be out? I really foresee so many, so much other things that's about to leave. So many other videos that he probably done paid for. That, apo- no that apology one. was just for your ego. Not mm-hmm. to cast. And I don't know, nothing. for your brand, I guess, but that's, all of that's over. That, mm-hmm. that's, that's a wrap. Mm-hmm. So it, there was, that was pointless, but it's like, you, you said that you, you know, you've done the work, the best apology is change behavior, right? Mm-hmm. We all know that. Right. Clearly the behavior hasn't changed if you were, you, you've been lying to us this whole time yeah. up until this past Sunday. I'm not sure if they're still open. I thought I heard they had new representation, but even if that's the case, they don't have that old hotel footage. That footage is long gone, someone got it from someone else, and it's been around for about 9 years. The whole situation is really wild. Do you know how many more videos might come out? I expect there will be a lot more footage surfacing soon, maybe videos he thought he had paid to keep hidden. His apology seemed more about protecting his ego and brand than anything genuine, and it feels like that's all in the past now. As you said, the best apology is real change in behavior, and it's clear that hasn't happened. He's been misleading us all this time, right up until this past Sunday.